running. There he is, blood cool, intense violent news. I just want to make sure my audio is okay. Hey, welcome back to Digital Woods for another glorious Warhammer 40k game. Uh, this time, we are going to be doing a 500 point game of... We haven't really decided yet, so... Nids versus Necrons. Um, I made both the lists, so this yes. should be interesting. Uh, they both fall under a patrol detachment. As is the only thing I ever do. <laughs> yep. Um, I have run some things a few times. By accident. Absolutely. Um, but this should be interesting. I uh, hope you enjoy. Let's get on to the game. Alright, folks. Here is my 501 point patrol detachment of Hive Fleet Kraken. We got ourselves a Broodlord that knows Catalyst and is taking the Chameleonic Mutation upgrade for Hive Fleet Kraken for a Relic. I have three troop choices. I have a group of three warriors. One of them has a Stranglethorn Cannon. The rest have their standard equipment, but all of them also have um, flesh hooks, giving them some nice pistols in case they get in a melee. Then I got a blob of 20 Gene Stealers basic gene stealers as they come and then a group of 11 hormigons out front to act as initial cannon fodder and that is my 501 point patrol detachment of high fleet kraken all right so here is my 500 point patrol detachment of necrons for this engagement i've brought along imatek the storm lord uh with 12 Necron Warriors, and I forgot whether or not I've ever used Tomb Blades for an 8th edition battle, so I'm bringing those along too. And the Tomb Blades are going to be bringing along two Tesla Carbines each. And, uh, that's it. There's my army. Alright, here we are deployed for our scouring mission from the Eternal War grouping. Uh, Mike picked the deployment type of, I think, Hammer and Anvil. Whichever one it is, Hammer, Anvil, Dawn of War, whichever one. In this one, there are six objective markers scattered about the board. One is worth four points, which is convenient for Mike, hidden in that building. Four are worth two, which are spread across. And one is worth one. These objective markers' values are determined after all units are deployed, so... And we rolled for it, so it is random. Yes. So it worked out. Uh, as it stands, uh, Mike will be having first turn. See you. No, well, do you want first turn or do you want to go second? Um. Can you finish deploying first? My first turn is basically going to be, go ahead, I'm done. So. Okay. Uh, so I, I will take want, second turn. I was about to say, do you want to take first turn and eat a turn? And... No, I'll take second turn. Okay. Well then, it'll be going on to Tyranid's turn one then. Yep. Alright, and here ends turn one movement for the... Tyranids. Yeah. So, advanced up the Hormagons, advanced up the Broodlord. Oh, I missed a Hormagon. You. Get back in formation. Termagon, that is a Hormagon. And advanced the Warriors. Uh, these four dice that I have set up kind of across my starting line, they're to represent the infestation nodes for the gene stealers, which I'm going to go ahead and use to have them emerge, and they're just going to emerge right here. So, And emerging within the six inches of the infestation node. I only put them in there in case Mike took first turn and actually moved up to shoot at them. I didn't want to lose any in that particular phase. So since he didn't, I'm going to go ahead and get them on the board so they can start running up. That would be absolutely terrifying if I did not know that those nodes were there and just walked upon it. Yeah. Just poof, there you go. There they are. You're surrounded. Mm -hmm. So, that is the end for turn one for the uh, Tyranids. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm casting Catalyst before the end of the turn. Ah. Putting it on the Homer Gods because I literally think that's the only thing you're going to shoot at, maybe, on your turn. So, I didn't get it, and I didn't perils, so... 
Cool. So, on to my first turn for Necrons. Necron turn one movement. I had my Tomb Blades move away from that objective and towards the enemy. Uh, advancing forward six inches as well. They're now within range to fire their uh, Tesla Carbines at the Hormagons. Hormagons? Termagons? I always get... Okay. And the two Necron Warriors that were at the bottom there shifted up to uh, make charges just that little bit harder. Yep. Um, so they make it all the way there. And that happens after shoot phase. So on to shooting. I'm going to have 12 shots go into the Hormigants. Hitting on fours because I advanced. Normally these guns would be uh, adding multiple hits on six ups. But Tom has informed me because... It is technically a minus one when advancing with assault weapons. I could only ever get fives. As your highest. As my six, highest. As a six becomes a five. So I technically, even if I roll sixes, they are fives. Yes. So it wouldn't technically, by the wording of the rule, pop. Yes. So here we go. Hopefully for four ups. Damn it. Seven hits. Wounding on three ups. Four. Okay. Four six up armors. And I didn't make any of them. Oh, okay. Right. And at the end of the shooting phase, because that is a lovely pile right there, I'm going to have uh, Imotech the Stormlord use his special ability called the Storm. And I can't pick a character, so I can't pick the... Uh, Brood Lord there, so I'm going to pick this Hormigant right here and the Hormigant Brood as the main hit of this uh, strike, and then we'll see if it hits everyone else afterwards. Do you remember how to do it? <laughs> yes, it is on a D6, on a 1, nothing happens. On a two through six, that's the amount of uh, mortal wounds that occur to the initial group. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Three. So that's three more dead Hormigons. And now I roll for a six up, or a possible six up, for each group within six inches of the initial strike. Okay. So for the uh, Gene Stealers, nope. For the Broodlord. No. That is it. Eh, got three more. Yeah. Could have been beautiful, but oh well. Um, and that is the end of my turn. On to Tyranid, turn two. Turn two for the Tyranids, advance them up, got a, it's a lovely movement for them with a six. Over here, everything advanced up. Um, I spent a command point on Opportunic Advance, which doubles the advance. I only got a four though, so these guys moved 16 inches instead of like 20. <laughs> so, moved up, but not as far as I want. And like I said, everything else moved up. So, on to my next phase, which is going to be Psychic, which is Catalyst on to the Gene Stealers. Five, I don't think that's enough. Two, it is a, it is a Warp Charge six, so yeah, I've got three command points. So well, I'm sorry, I got two command points now. Spending one for a reroll. Good, because I actually really needed them to, you know have that extra defense because they're going to die <laughs> otherwise. So that's them. So on to my next phase, which is going to be shooting, which is actually going to be coming from here. 
the two warriors here are going to fire their devourers into that unit of bikes. And the barbed strangler is also going to fire into that unit. So starting off with the devourers, I am hitting on fives with a total of six shots. One hit. Winning on five because it's only strength four. No. Okay. Barb Strangler, D6 shots. Two. Hitting on fives because I advanced. One. Strength five, so looking for a four to wound. No. Alright, so that's it for the shooting phase. On to the charge phase. Gene Steelers into bikes. Alright. Twelve shots, hitting on sixes. Two, mm -hmm. which means six hits. Six hits. Wounding on three. So five versus four, so fives. Fives. Some, sorry, the, threes. The threes. No, numbers. Two. Oh. Two possible wounds. Two five up intervals. Make those. Okay, nice. Nice. Now the charge. Now the charge distance. It is a nine inch charge. Well, I got a six and a one, so there goes my last command point. And I got an eight inch charge. Oh. That one inch. Yep. And that ends turn two. Uh, solidly, I moved up the board. Yep. And spent all of your command points. Yep. All right, on to uh, Necron turn two. All right, so Necron turn two movement. I had my Tomb Blades retreat just a little bit back here. They did not advance, so they're shooting at their standard uh, this turn. I had my Necron Warriors budge up out of my, or uh, Imotech the Stormlord's way so he can get at a window so he can shoot. Uh, and unfortunately, this is the only one that didn't fit all the way packed up so they can shoot because one, he's already at a window, and two, there's no floor right there. Um, so now on to the shooting phase, mm -hmm. where I guess I will start with the Tomb Blades. They're going to fire half their shots at the uh, Hormigants and half at the Gene Stealers. So six shots going into the Hormigants, hitting on threes. Three hits. Three hits. Wounding on threes. Three possible wounds. Three five ups because they're in crater cover. Hey, look at that. Not Three even, dead. Not even remotely close. <laughs> Alright, and then the six shots going into the gene stealers. Hitting on threes. Oop, I got one six. All the rest hit. That's two more extra attacks. Uh, now wounding on still threes. Miss two. So that is five. Five possible wounds on the gene stealers. Okay. Five five ups. I got three of them. And then two five ups from Catalyst. One gene stealer. All right. Next, I'm going to have my Necron Warriors shoot. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have it go four into the last Hormagant, and then eight into the gene and then eight into the gene stealers. Okay. So the Hormagant first, hitting on threes. All hit, wounding on threes. Oh, damn, I would have loved that with the uh, Tesla carbines. Do and I roll, AP minus one. Do I roll quad box cars? No. I got okay. One. Good. So first blood. Yes. Eight shots into the gene stealers, hitting on threes. All hit. Wounding on threes. Wounding on fours. Wounding on fours. Sorry. 
made a difference. It's one less one. Yep. So five. Five, five ups. So made two. Five, five ups from Catalyst. Two and three, five ups. Yeah. So that's two more. Days. All right, and lastly, I'm gonna have Imutech the Storm Lord fire his staff of the destroyer at the Gene Stealers. Mm -hmm. So that's three shots hitting on. Pretty sure his ballistics is two. Probably he is him a in a while. Named character to two twos. All right, twos. Missed once. Threes. Two. And AP minus three. Doesn't matter. In oh, yeah, saves. they're invol. Five up invols. Saved one. And then I need a double five or better to ignore the wounds. No. So that's another gene stealer. All right. And that, I believe, is all the shooting that I can currently make. No one's within six inches for my, uh, uh, or for Stormlord's flamer. Mm -hmm. So that is the end of my turn. On to... Your turn, turn three. Okay, turn three for the Tyranids. Advance them up. Once again, getting a nice movement of 12. Total. These guys finally got a six on their advancement, so they flew up the board. And the Broodlord is right behind them. Ready to do all sorts of lovely charges and whatnots. Yes. So... It is on to the Psychic Phase. Once again, Catalyst onto the Gene Stealers, the most important part of the army. And once again, I fail to get Catalyst. Benefit for me, considering I forgot to you to do my will be done. All right, so that didn't go off, so now it's on to shooting. Just need to do a quick measurement for these guys. These are not within 18. Not with an 18, so it's just going to be the barb strangler up into them. Because it's better at shooting in groups. Yes. So D6 number of shots from the barb strangler. Four. Four dice. Hitting on fours. Two. Wounding on three, because it is strength five. One, with an AP minus one. All right. So you're four up. Four up. Got it. Uh, well, that's it for shooting. So it's on to charges. Uh, Gene Stealers are going to charge the Warriors and Emotech. Broodlord is going to charge just Emotech. And I am not going to charge them because I didn't get Catalyst and I don't you need you rolling like 12 sixes. Aww. Okay. In that case, I need to dice. I guess my Overwatch, starting with the Necron Warriors into his Gene Stealers, hitting on sixes with 12 dice. What a spread. Um, I got one. Uh, wounding on a four? Yes. Okay. Five up in vol. No. So, um, that you, sir. Jeff. All right, cool. Next for Overwatch is Imotech the Stormlord. With, he can use both his weapons during Overwatch, yeah. yeah? So I guess starting with Staff of the Destroyer. Three shots hitting on sixes. None. None. Now for his Flamer. Gauntlet of Fire. Gauntlet of Fire. D6, number of shots. Four, Four shots. Okay, Wounding it. on... Um, it's probably strength it, It's a standard uh, strength flame. Strength 4 flamer, so force to wound. Alright, force to wound. Two. Two. Uh, not enough to get rid of your really easy charge, but... Uh, two five-up involves. And that's another one. Another one bites dust. Uh, now charging. Uh, like probably like a four or five minimum to get into the because warriors. It's a in the three up for yeah. each floor. So you so. made it. So that's enough to get some of the gene stealers into both. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the brood lord as well. well Seven. That's a three, and there's the four. I might be able to make it into Emotech. I will have to move everything and then figure it out. Yes. Okay, and after the charges, this is where all the Gene Stealers and the Broodlord end up. Just enough to get the Broodlord in. And then there's some guys that couldn't make it in just outside. 
So, on to the fight, which I'm going to start off with the Gene Steelers, which are going to do a three-inch pile in. Which means you guys go up a level to make room All for right. more. Do you want to uh, start shifting then? Yeah. Okay, so as I said, the Gene Steelers will be fighting first. This is where they ended up after their three-inch pile in, getting pretty much everyone through the wall and a couple more guys up into combat. So, there are four that are going to be attacking the Warriors, so here comes the... 16 attacks from them, hitting on twos. Any rerolls? No. Twos because of the Broodlord being nearby. But missed one, which is pretty good. Strength four versus tough four, so looking for fours to wound. Uh, six is our EP three. That is two sixes? Three sixes. So three sixes, that's three dead warriors. Yep. And then six regular, well, I'm sorry, oh, six five ups. I'm just gonna pull the one, two, three. The guy standing here. That, that he's down there now. Two of them fell along with a uh, Gene Steeler, how many did you say? Five? Uh, six five ups. Because AP minus one on regular attacks. There you go. Six five ups. You make four of them. Yeah. So All right, more two down. more go down. So that's five dead. Yep. Might as well just grab one of the ones from the bottom. But I might be able to reanimations here. Yeah. Because they've already fallen off. Oh, yeah. There you go. Instead of, you know, pulling the guys that I could, like, try to slip through. True. All right, well, that's them. And then there are three that can attack Emotech. So that is a total of 12 attacks from them. Hitting on two. 11 hits. There are only strength four, so I'm pretty sure you're a tough five. So I'm looking for fives to wound. Fives to wound. Yep. Looks like two AP threes and one AP one. Alrighty then. So two AP threes, which would be your four up involved from your phase shifter. Four up. Double six. All right. And then the AP minus one. I think you would then have a three up to so the two up. Yeah. On the base. So three ups. That's just one dice. Oh. All right. Dice happy. Three up. There. No damage there. Uh, do you want to spend any command points to interrupt before my Broodlord swings? I think I do. And that's going to be to have my... Um, Imotech go? Yes, Imotech go. Okay. He is going to attack your Broodlord. Fair enough. So, he is three attacks, I believe, going into the Broodlord then. Hitting on twos. I'm not mistaken. I missed one. I will use a command point to re-roll that one. So your last command point. Yep. So three hits. All right, looking for fours to wound. I got one. Okay. Oh. Uh, AP minus three. Okay, so five up in for being Gene Stealer. So it goes through. And that's two damage. Okay. He's got four wounds left. Cool. Okay. His turn. He gets a strike back. Six attacks. Hitting on twos. And he doesn't get any reroll thing. So, four hits. He is strength five, so I'm looking for force to wound as well. So, one regular AP minus three, and the other one is AP minus six. Okay, so one goes through. Well, you have your four up. In, oh, yeah. You have two four up involves. Uh, do that one first, the regular AP minus three. All right, so regular. And then the higher AP one. The higher. Right. There we go. No damage done. Okay. And now my warriors get to attack. Yes. Do you so want to pile them in? Um, 
I'll the, leave them where they are. The answer is yes, so you can move him and get one extra space for ah, reanimation. Yes, I will absolutely and, pile in and yeah, we're putting him right there. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yes, I will do that. I have piled in just to get that one extra slot for reanimations. All right, and that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Only those seven. that are within base contact or within one inch of one that is in base contact. Okay, so one, two, three, mm, four. four. So four attacks, hitting on threes. Two hits. Oh, I, I didn't say it, but they're only in base it's contact, contact with, with Gene Steelers. Yes. And then force to wound. Force to wound. One. One five up in the hole. No. Oh. Boop. Dead. And that is the end of your turn. Yes. Necron turn three, starting with reanimations. Here we go. I have five to make, and we'll see with uh, for however many I get if they fit up there. So going for fives, five ups. I got two back. They will most definitely fit up there onto movement. Necron turn three movement. I moved this group back, and the two Necrons hopped back in here and here. And on to shooting. I'm going to have this group shoot at his warriors over there, because they're the only thing that they can currently shoot at that is not in melee. So that'll be 12 dice hitting on threes. Oh my god. That is a lot. Um, so you had, what, four misses? I have one, two, three... Four misses. Well, there, there's two of your sixes to get all of that back. <laughs> I'll just put those back over there. So then, then you have four more sixes, which are eight more. All right. Hits. So hold on. Two, three. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there. Wait. One more. One more. And then this six. Okay. So out of twelve shots, you hit. What? 12, uh, 16, 20? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Something along that line. So, wounding on, uh, what is their toughness? Uh, their top four. And wounding on threes. That is still too many sixes. What happened? <laughs> So one, two, three, four, five. So that's fifteen, and that means fifteen four ups because no AP. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven failed. Which means Wins. two are dead, and one has two wounds left. Because there's a total of nine wounds for the. Event. Yep. Oh, and you made sure to keep the Stranglethorn guy. Yeah. All right, well, in that case, on to combat. Really? Yes. Uh, so I'm going to have my warriors go first. Pile in. Yep, pile in as much as they can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hitting on threes. I missed Five hits. twice. Wounding on fours. Yeah, wounding on fours. One. Not one. I used up all my luck in that first uh, uh, two rolls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wounding uh, five up save. Yay. All right. All right. So next is the storm lord. Three uh, three hits. Hitting attacks. on a three attacks. Hitting on two. Two hit. And wounding on four. So oh. tough five versus your strength five. Yes. I forgot to say who I was attacking, but yes, I'm attacking the, the brood lord. Oh, yeah, you could... You could I, I some... could have technically attacked the gene, gene sealers, but... So, my bad, I'm attacking the brood lord. Fours, you said? Yeah. So, wounding on fours. No. Okay. 
Here's my 16 attacks from the Gene Stealers into the Warriors. Hitting on twos. Wounding on fours. And sixes are just dead warriors because of the AP minus three. Yep. So that's three sixes. Three sixes and then four with five up saves. All right. Five ups. So. No. That is eight dead. So one. Two. Three. Get back up there. Would you mind grabbing him? Four, five, six, seven. All right, well, eight. Good luck on your reanimations, buddy. Good luck on that uh, fear roll, morale roll. Oh. How many? Eight? Yeah. Oh, shoot. So a two or lower, you don't run away. Because you have leadership ten, and it's also the morale. No, I have no, two you, my you, you're Broodlord. Broodlord. You have to attack Immotech. Broodlord with his six attacks, hitting on twos. He is strength five, so he's looking for fours. And then your four up invuls. Alright, so two four up invuls. There we go. He is still fine. Mm -hmm. And now, now on to morale. Yes. One dice. So, on a two or lower, you're fine. Bye! Yay! Whoop. Well, no, it's just there's going to be a lot more attacks on uh, Immotech. Yeah. Oh, wait, don't you have, you have like. Three a... gene stealers to attack him? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I forgot to do them, so I was going to let it slide. Eh. So, the. Three Gene Stealers onto Emotech, hitting on twos, twos. Wounding on fives. Um, yeah, just your uh, two three ups and one four up invul. Right. Two three ups. One four up. Yeah, take oh. one point of damage that you're living metal on the start of your turn, so. <laughs> yeah. And that is the end of my turn. Yes. So, yep. On to your turn, turn four. Yep. Movement for turn four. Uh, Mike reminded me of the uh, Kraken special thing that they can fall back out of combat and still charge. So those are nice and close, so <laughs> try to get them before they can get away. So just fell back out of the melee just an inch so I can multi-charge back into melee as well. <laughs> Over here, advanced that guy further. Why not? Yeah, why not? So on to Psychic. Uh, being catalyst. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, look, I didn't get it for the fourth <laughs> turn in a row. I only got it once because I spent a command point. Yeah. It's a warp charge six. Yeah. All right, well. Shooting? Yeah, shooting. Uh, he's going to go ahead and fire his barb strangler at them. D6 number of shots. Five. Hmm. That's pretty good. But, you know, hitting on fives because he advanced. One. Wounding on a four. Yay, AP minus one. So, you're... Four up. Okay. Four up. No. Yeah, I take one damage. All right, that's it for shooting. On to uh, charges. Only charge to declare is a multi-charge of that into them and back into Emotech. And he doesn't get a and overwatch. Because oh, I, I left my broodlord in melee. Sweet. So I need 12 dice. Let's see, can you get 20 shots in it? Oh. I need that now. All right, so 12 shots hitting on sixes. Got I, got, I got two. 
So that's six, six hits. Hit, six hits. And wounding on threes. Threes. Strength five versus tough four. Four. Four or five ups. Two die. So you and you. Fair enough. Yeah. So your charge distance that you can't fail. Hey, look at that. You can wrap around. Which doesn't matter because you'll fly. Ah, yes. Ooh, I forgot about that. Does that mean I can... Fall back and still shoot. Sweet. And then back into Immotech. Mm-hmm. With just the one. Yeah, to keep cohesion. Ah. But mainly to keep the, uh, the chain of everything hitting on twos from... Fair enough, yes. So I guess they would go first. I still have over 10 in the unit. So I'll do the four attacks into Emotech. Alright. Hitting on twos. Three hits. Wounding on fives. Not nothing. Okay, I have six, seven gene stealers. Is he close enough? No, he's. I'm two inch capping it. Got so. it. So that's 28 attacks. So I need to gather some dice real quick. Gene Stealers into the Tomb Blades. 28 attacks, or yeah, 28 attacks. Hitting on twos. One, two, three, four, five, five misses. And wounding on fives, because you are tough five on by being a bike. Back here, you. So. That is a pretty solid number there. Hmm. Okay, so. That is. Four damage with no save, because AP minus three. Yep. So that's. I do believe one dead and. Two dead, dead and then one damage left over. And then six, uh, four up saves, because you have three up armor base. Yep. So six four ups. Uh, nope, oh, dead. Yay. Dead. Well, good luck, buddy. So you're, uh, Brood Lord's Brood Lord. now. His six attacks, hitting on twos. Wounding on fours. Your two four up involves. Four ups. Hey, you finally failed one. Actually, now I have to look up the damage of his base claw. D3 damage. Two. Alright, so. Doop. Uh, going for the. Still with the Broodlord. Mm -hmm. Why not? Uh, three attacks. Hitting on twos. All hit. Wounding on fours. Missed one. Two five up in balls. Nope. All right. Uh, it was just two damage. Two damage, so that's four. So that's the death my bird lord did. Oh, yeah. So taken two earlier. Warlord kill! Yes. Now, can I manage to kill your gene stealers with just my <laughs> Emotech? With just Emotech. All right, well, on to my turn, turn four, I guess. Yep. All right, so first thing in Necron turn four is going to be my Emotech Stormlords Undying, which is just a better version of, version of Living Metal. So D3, wounds back. Two. So, so back down to one wound on him. And... Do you want to fall back, or do you I'm, want to stay in melee? I am... He can't shoot if he falls back, because he doesn't have fly. Yep. So, at the moment, he's just going to stay in melee. Okay. Because you're just going to charge him, or he's going to charge you. So, uh, my attack's in, I guess, then. Three attacks, hitting on twos. Wounding on threes. threes. 
One. One five up in hall. No. One All right. Dead, one dead jeep stealer. Yep. This is going to go for a while. <laughs> uh, Your attack. Your f- six, four, hey, I'm at ten, so I still have the... Can you pile in? Um, I think so, so I might as well. Not here. Shuffed every... Sh- yeah, after the three inch pile in, gets me one extra gene stealer up, so here is my eight attacks into him, hitting on threes. Wounding on fives. So, one four up in hole. Four up? Nope. Yeah. Doop. And that's the end of my turn. Yep. And I have no more else to do, so. Yep. Okay, uh, turn five movement for the turn, it's pretty easy. That warrior moves up to be within the three inches to hold the two on above him. Kept the gene stealers in melee because why not? They're gene stealers? Yeah. And on to uh, melee because I've got no psychic and he can't shoot at anything. So three inch pile in again. Uh, gene stealers now attack. They now have 12 attacks because they're now three within range. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fives. So four three ups and one four up. Right, so four three ups. No damage. And the one four up. One four up. No damage. Your three attacks back. Hitting on twos. I'll hit. Wounding on, oop, map. Wounding on threes. Hey, yeah, I got two. Two five ups. One dies. Well, that is the end of your turn. Mm-hmm. On to my turn. And Necron turn five. I'm just gonna keep going with melee, because why not? Uh, three attacks, hitting on twos. That's why not. Wounding on threes. One. One five up. Oh. Hey. And I'll leave you out as the convenient one to remove if we go into another turn. <laughs> so 12 attacks, hitting on threes. Two misses. And wounding on fives. So, looks like two three ups and two four ups. All right. Two three ups. Two go through. Two four ups. Are you dead with six damage? Well, you didn't also live in metal this turn either. <sighs> no, I didn't. Hold on. I'm guessing he has six wounds. He has six wounds. So it totally matter. It, all right. Well, yeah. Shall I? Yeah, go ahead. Living metal. You get one back. I got one. So you have. One I have. Left. I have one left. Consistency. Yep. And your three attacks back. No, this was the bottom of your turn. Never this mind. is the bottom of my turn. Okay, so, so that is the... That is possibly the... End of the game. Yes. So do you want to roll for it or shall I? Uh, sure, since if it ends now, I'd be the one winning. So one or two, the game ends. No, it continues it, it, on for another turn. Alrighty then. On to turn six. Uh, movement for turn five. Or oh, I'm sorry, six. Nothing particularly happened movement wise. Not gonna shoot anything, no psychics are straight on to the fight um, phase, which is just going to be, you know shiftings. Pile in. Apply monkey into barrel syndrome. Okay. I have uh, sixteen attacks now. No I don't. I have nine guys left. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they lose one attack for not being ten or more. Ah so Lose four attacks. Twelve attacks, which means I should have had four less last turn. Eh. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fives. Uh, not a one. All right. 
my attacks well, back. Well, take that back. That was like it, five ones. Yeah. <laughs> like four ones. Three attacks, hitting on twos. All hit, wounding on threes. Just the one. You're five up. Five up interval. Nope. Another dies. Convenient one hey, outside. That's a convenient one. And that is the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. On to my turn six. All right, so starting off Necron turn six. Let's do uh, Undying. E3. Oh, I got one back. Oh, no. Hey. Thank you, dice. And on to attacking. So, three dice hitting on twos. Two hit. Wounding on threes. Hey, two possible wounds. Two five up involves. One dies. Yay! That one. How many do I have left? Six? Seven. Seven. And on to your shifting and then attacks. Yeah. Can you get one more in there? Yeah, I can get one more up, but that's pretty much going to be it. These two are just uh, waiting. Waiting to refills or just be pulled. Yep. <laughs> 15 attacks, hitting on threes. Um, one, two, three, four, five hits. Uh. <laughs> Wounded on fives. One three up. One three up then. Okay. It's always sad when you hit on threes with many <laughs> dice and it's easier to pick out the hits. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes it is. All right, so well, does the game end? On a three or below, the game ends. No. No. Okay. On to turn seven. seven. Yay. Turn seven movement, uh, straight into melee. Yep. Just nothing okay. moved, melee time. 15 attacks hitting on threes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Nine, ten. Five misses. Would have been easier to go the other way. Yeah. Fives to wound. Two, three ups, and one, four up. Alright. Go with the two, three ups first. Made them both. And the one, four up. And then my attack's back. Yep. Three attacks, hitting on twos. Boop. Wounding on threes. Boop. Two five up intervals. And the other one dies. Another one bites the dust. All right, on to uh, my turn, two's. turn seven. Uh, and on Necron, turn seven, we've realized that because uh, Tom is using the Tyranid Codex, object he has objective secured. So I lost this a while ago because <laughs> I can't kill all of his dudes. Yeah. Because uh, he's holding the point, which is four points. He's holding that point, which is two points. I he's got line breaker, line breaker. Seven. Versus your first blood and Slay the Warlord. Which is you, two points. And you don't hold any objectives at the moment. Nope. So, um... Good game. That was close, and I really thought I had you there for like two times. You did. Well, you forgot my I, rapid fire. I forgot my rapid fire! <sighs> Damn it. I am the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Agrees with. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed this game. Um, I did. Tom? Yeah, pretty good. And, yeah, have a good one. Yep. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Click the like and subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment down below, and catch you next time.